Hello, we have a problem. Uh, this is from differential equations. Uh, eliminate the arbitrary constant from this problem. Uh, y is equals to x square plus c1x uh, plus uh, c2a uh, rest to uh, negative x. So, first is we need to eliminate this constant uh, c1 and c2. So, if there are two constants, the number of constants determines how many times you uh, differentiate it. Okay, here's our solution. Y is equals to, let's copy the problem, plus C1X plus C2E rest to negative x then important thing that uh, dy over dx is just the same as uh, y prime and then we know that there are two constants so we need to differentiate it twice okay so this first y the derivative with respect to x that is y prime is equals to this x square to get the derivative that is uh, 2x plus we have c1 if we get the derivative of x that is just 1 or uh, simply uh, c plus the derivative of this we have C2 A rest to negative x the derivative of E rest to U that is E U D U so the derivative of negative x that is uh, negative 1 or we can have that our y prime is equals to is 2x uh, plus c1 that's minus c2 e rest to negative x okay this is our equation number one this is our equation number two and then we have uh, equation number three for the second derivative okay the derivative of y prime with respect to x that is y double prime is equals to the derivative of 2x that is 2 the derivative of x is just 1 okay then plus the derivative of constant this is equals to 0 and then minus the derivative of this c2 rs to negative x that is uh, c2 times e rs to negative x the derivative of the negative x is just negative 1 so the our equation number 3 will be so y double prime is equal to 2 that's negative times negative that is positive uh, c2 that's e rest to negative x so this will be our equation number 3 and then from that, from equation number 3, we can have that, okay, from equation number 3, we can say that this uh, y prime minus 2, this is just the value of c2 e rest to negative x. Okay, so we have y double prime is equals to 2 plus c2 a rest to negative x or we can write this uh, y double prime minus let's transpose this 2 to the left side that will become negative 2 is equals to c2 e rest to negative x. So this is the value for 
C to E negative X. And then, from equation number 2, back to the problem, no, back to our solution. We have this Uh, this one, y prime is equal to 2x plus c1 minus c2e negative x. Okay, we can write that as y prime is equal to as 2x plus that is c1 minus uh, c2 f raised to negative x and then to continue we have y prime that is uh, 2x plus c1 minus from here we have a value that is y double prime minus 2 that is the value for c2e rest to negative x if be careful that is y double prime minus 2 then to continue, we have y prime is equal to 2x plus c1. Then simplify this negative sign that is uh, negative y double prime. Then that is positive 2. So we have here the value for y prime. Uh, no, no. We have the value for C1. That is from here. That's Y prime. Uh, from here, that's negative 2x. Then this negative Y double prime plus 2. Let's tra transpose this to the right side. That will become minus 2x. This one. Plus Y double prime. This one minus 2 is equals to c1 this is the value for our c1 and then after that from equation number one okay so that is the original problem that is y is equals to x squared minus c1x plus c2 uh, rest to negative x okay let's copy the problem no no <laughs> let's copy the original equations that is y is equals to x squared we have plus c1x plus c2 a rest to negative x okay from that we have already the value for c1 and then c2 a is to negative x so let's just uh, substitute it so to continue that's y is equal to x squared plus c1 x or c1 is the value here that is y prime minus 2x plus y double prime minus 2 quantity that will be multiplied by this variable x plus c2 e raised to x we all know that our uh, c2 a raised to negative x that is y double prime minus 2 okay that is minus 2 okay after that, uh, the constant are already eliminated, but we arrange this answer to the uh, in base of the exponent. But first, let's simplify this one. That is x squared okay, plus this y prime. Multiply it to the variable x that is x y prime minus this 2x let's multiply e to the x 
that gives us negative 2x squared plus we have y prime double prime multiply to x that is x y double prime minus this negative 2 times x that is negative 2x plus we have y double prime minus 2 and then this y transpose this to the right side that will become minus y is equal to 0 after that we need to group like terms we have already here y prime y double prime okay that is y double prime we have x plus 1 Then for y prime, that is just here, it's x y prime, and then okay, we're done here, we're done here, and then minus y. And then we have plus x squared. And then minus 2x squared. Then minus 2x. After that, minus 2 is equal to 0. And we can uh, subtract this x square minus 2x square so our equation will be we have y double prime we have x plus 1 plus x y prime minus y and then x square minus 2x square that will be uh, negative x square and then minus 2x minus 2 is equal to uh, zero and then that will be our uh, final answer the did you notice that the constant from this answer are now eliminated there's no constant c1 or c2 but we have y double prime we have y prime and then the x square minus 2x minus 2 so this is the final answer to the elimination of our arbitrary constant okay from uh, we have a quick review that is uh, from here from equation two from equation one from equation three this is the uh, original problem this is for the uh, equation the first derivative and then the second derivative okay so therefore the constant are now uh, eliminated so thank you for watching